Hello, and welcome to Collection Air, a new approach to creating a keepsake photo and video archive of your family's best memories. You know, it's great that social media is capturing our lives as we live them today, but how about those great moments years ago? Can you find your photos of those special family vacations? How about photos of your ancestors, your parents, your immediate family? And what about the home movies of when you were a kid? Of your own kids? Well, that's why Collection Air was created, and you'll soon see that it is very different. For example, you won't move your photos and videos to Collection Air. Instead, you'll keep them in almost any cloud site of your choice. You can use just one or several sites like Google Photos, Apple Photos, SmugMug, and others for your photos, and sites like Dropbox, Google Drive, and Vimeo to store long-form home movies. So why use Collection Air? Well, because while these other sites are great for storing and viewing content, they are simply not designed for creating a family archive. Here's how it's done with Collection Air. Every person is given a media collection page which acts like a table of contents to their life. Here, for example, we are creating a legacy tribute to our late beloved mother and grandmother Loretta. Her collection has several levels of detail. We first see a narrative of Loretta's life written a few years ago by one of her grandchildren. We then move to her primary collection, starting with chapters and within each chapter, entries. Clicking an entries preview image links you directly to your content in one of those other cloud sites. Here, for example, clicking on early years links us to an album in Flickr where we see 41 photos of her childhood. Scrolling down and clicking here takes us to Google Photos where we've saved a photo archive of her antiques and heirlooms, many of which date back over a century. Our linking system even allows us to use any of dozens of special web products and apps. Here we link to a product called Yumpu to see a flipbook we created of Loretta's early years. If we back up a level in Collection Air, you'll see that Loretta's page was just one of many, and your family tree becomes a hub to all family members. Clicking on any person in the tree takes you to their collection. Here, for example, is Loretta's granddaughter, Susan with links to many of the special activities and events of her early years. We even find quick links to her current Instagram and Facebook pages. Going back to the family tree, we see that there's a circular link icon connecting each couple. Clicking here takes you to the couple's collective family page, where you'll assemble the best of a family's memories together, from home movies and vacations to special events and holidays. Here in William and Loretta's family collection, we see a home movie from a 1964 family trip to Yellowstone. From its description, we see what it contains. So clicking to the video and scrolling to minute 26, we see in the movie where they saw bears for the first time. Lastly, each time you log into your account, you'll see this screen, which shows your collection and those that you have permission to view. You can likewise share your collection with friends and family. And simple permission settings give you complete control over which media items you allow others to see and which stay private. You can even grant edit privileges. Well, that's our quick overview. We hope you'll give Collection Air a try. You can begin now by creating a free account and then starting to add a few family members and links to photos and videos. Small collections are free and even large collections are quite inexpensive. We hope you find Collection Air to be a fun and rewarding site and we look forward to having you as a valued long-term member.